Hello, my name is HotSyst. Long time ago I did some Blender tutorials. Those were basically time lapse without commentary and they are still among the most viewed videos on my channel. So uh, I will give this another shot and uh, record something that I've been uh, struggling with. And it's the uh, unrolling animation of a sail along a rope or a mast. So it all started with uh, a question of mine uh, posted on uh, Blender Artist. And uh, Damien G uh, basically uh, provided a nice uh, blind file with, uh, with the solution in there. Um, and it took me a while to figure out all the uh, in and outs. Uh, for this tutorial we will do it in uh, Blender 2.80. Um, so that comes with or that came with uh, uh, additional struggles to uh, figure out this new UI and everything. So let's start. Uh, as with many tutorials, we will delete the uh, default loop first. Uh, go into uh, perspective mode uh, from the front, and we will add. I'm I'm a bit rusty. We will add a plane. Uh, rotate by 90 degree along, what was it, the x-axis, yes, right, so we tap into edit mode, uh, access the uh, context menu, subdivide it, and what we want is a triangular shape, so we mark the vertices we don't want and delete them and then we create a face with those three. So <coughs> as with the sail it's it's a, it's a cloth and uh, we will create basically our mast or uh, the thing we want to roll up along this edge here um, and uh, for this to work, we need to further subdivide uh, this uh, this uh, image, this this plane, so that uh, it uh, animates nicely uh, and does not get a weird effect. So, subdivision again, and I found a size of 22 cuts and then yes double that again that should work out nicely um so let's uh quickly uh, unwrap this and uh, apply a simple no not shade what was it? Ah, we probably need some. Oh, in the world tab, uh, we want a new material. Yes. Um, so here we want uh, input texture. A checker texture that will do with uh, uh, blue and uh, yellow. Uh, let's scale this down a bit and well, we should have scaled it up a bit. Oh, so now we have a texture that's nice for uh, rendering. 
Now let's switch back into uh, modeling mode and we will add a cylinder around which we will roll this up. So our cylinder will have uh, six vertices. Right? Switch into top view and basically scale this down. Further down. Uh, maybe this was too much. So let's scale up a bit until it looks. Basically, I'm aiming for the uh, for the radius that should match. Uh, the sail it bigger and then scale it up again along set. So length does not matter. Um, and we have that. So the next thing is uh, this sail should roll up here and then wind up along here. So for that we need a path. Um, we do it along here, along the uh, uh, X coordinate, add curve path and we switch into edit mode and we see it goes in that direction so uh, when we animate uh, the animation direction will be this one. So basically we can delete those two uh, nodes and then this one aligns nicely with the uh, edge of, uh, of our sail here. So, next we will step into top view, uh, grab this uh, middle one and move it uh, to here. So when the sail rolls, rolls up around uh, this cylinder, the first uh, round will be the most in round and then we will uh, spiral the, the pass out a bit. So we take this one, grab it here and align it with this edge here. And from here on it's basically a thing of extruding and placing uh, placing uh, the uh, extruded nodes. And with the second iteration it's just a bit further out. Uh, this is a bit of, uh, of tedious work doing it uh, manually. Uh, but I think in the end it will uh, result in, uh, in something better as this is not uh, exact science and uh, it's an ap approximation. So when the sail rolls up it will not look that uh, uh, mechanical. So for this sail to work the uh, question is how many rounds do we need? Um, basically the path that spirals along around this cylinder has to be long in or at least same long as the segment from here to, to that end. Because 
that's that's the the the, the width of the of the sail that we want to uh, wrap up. So if this pass is longer, it doesn't matter. All that uh, happens in the animation in the end is uh, um, that the sail would rotate uh, a bit around the cylinder uh, even if it's completely rolled up. And at that point we can figure out uh, the uh, on the timeline when exactly this has uh, has happened and basically end the animation there or shorten the pause. But it's easier to do that uh, afterwards uh, than figuring is out beforehand. So I think that looks about right. So if we tap out of uh, edit mode we will see a problem because uh, the paths, especially the uh, inner layers, intersect our uh, cylinder. And for that reason it's, it's uh, a good idea um, in this case we will uh, scale this down until we have no intersection anymore. Um, but knowing this you can also start out with, uh, with a cylinder radius of approximately uh, uh, w scale 1.5. And we also see something in here, the, uh, the start here that's not properly aligned and also the uh, the uh, end intersecting here a bit um, not much we can do about that uh, I think it's it's not that that visible in the uh, in the end um, especially uh, this part here, this this will pre pretty fast be uh, uh, hidden below the, the the second layer. We could remedy this by basically around here we have short segments, and this part is all one segment. So if we would divide uh, this part here. Uh, then we could have a, a smoother transition uh, here, but I think that's not that needed. So um, let's switch back. So then we have all the stuff in place. Um, this one, the sail, sail should have a cloth modifier, so let's add that. And um, with this, we have field weights gravity. Either we could turn gravity off, so the sail does not uh, fall down, or what we can do is basically turn the uh, the edges here. Um, let's turn on X-ray. Uh, we mark the uh, three corner points and then define a vertex group. Um, let's name this pin, assign it. Um, go back to the to the close and in here somewhere um, yeah on the shape we have the pin group and we can assign that um, 
and what we also need is uh, we need the uh, modifier for the curve uh, so this one the plane that's the sail um, that the curve is the roll up curve and the cylinder let's call that mast okay so roll up curve tap out of uh, edit mode and this happens um, I am not quite sure why that is but uh, basically the curve uh, uh, modifier uh, does something with the uh, origin of the uh, of the of the model onto which it is applied and the uh, easiest thing uh, to fix that is uh, basically we have seen it switches over by one so what we basically could do is uh, uh, move <coughs> the mesh um, and move it along X by 1. And now it's aligned properly, um, but we probably don't want to intersect the sail with the with the curve but have it a bit before before the mast so um yep so let's go to animation this view and let's see what happens okay this is the gravity effect uh, uh, for the uh, for the sail but what we did not yet do is uh, basically animate uh, the sail so um, if we now move the the sail along the x-axis we can see it's it's rolling up nicely uh, and that's basically uh, what we want to animate. So let's bring out the uh, the uh, uh, what was it? The properties tab, and we want to have animation on the uh, basically along the uh, x-axis. So let's uh, insert the keyframe, then uh, jump to keyframe 100 and um, plus one and insert keyframe so what did that do now it's rolling up and it's nicely aligned with the animation we have so let's see that does this work in jaded mode yes it does and basically that's how you do it but of course uh, i had a bit more struggle because uh, uh, what I actually wanted to do is not roll up along this edge, but along this edge, and uh, everything is not uh, so nicely lined up uh, like in this model. So we will have a short look at, uh, at the setup for the more difficult part. And this is the product 
And the final product when we want to sail to wrap it around uh, a rope along the long side of the uh, triangle as you see uh, it works out neatly um, much of what we've seen so far is the same difference is uh, of course uh, uh, the the angle along which it is wrapped up um, the curve does not go along a side of the uh, of the uh, sail but rather through the corner uh, furthest away because that's the the longest distance um, and if you try to um, to model it uh, the, the the same way you will quickly find out that it is tricky to get uh, this curve or uh, the view aligned in a way so that you can do the the, the wrapping and extruding around this this corner piece uh, uh, nicely so trick is don't do it that way and uh, I will show you quickly in here let's add 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 no I don't want to oh I'm in edit mode object mode and we add another uh, cylinder six edges radius zero four looks about right and then we add uh, the uh, curve and this one the curve is the is the wrong way around so uh, let's uh, uh, rotate by 180 degrees and it goes in the uh, other direction uh, once again we remove the uh, out two vertices um, and then again we wrap it up you've seen me do that before so probably I will cut the, the video here and show you the, the final product so and now we're here again uh, we'll scale that down a bit so when we have a look at it from this view that's the the spiral and when we compare it to this this is an, at an angle of uh, 45 degrees so let's select both uh, rotate along the uh, y-axis by 45 degrees and we're done and then basically with the with the sail it's it's the same thing uh, when we add in uh, edit mode we can see uh, it's it's displaced to be nicely aligned uh, with the with the animation here um, so if we uh, have a look at uh, the displacement here it's for for a diagonal it's uh, half a meter along the x-axis and minus half along the uh, z-axis uh, that it is moved and if we have a look at the uh, vertices or at that one it's basically why is it moved along the y-axis I don't quite 
Ah, because it's local. So if we have a look at the uh, global, it's minus 0 0.5 along the x-axis and minus x-axis along this line and z-axis also uh, half a meter approximately. The the lower numbers here are uh, because we basically don't want to intersect it with uh, with our uh, cylinder here. And if we uh, play back the animation, it rose up nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Feedback is always welcome. And bye for now.